What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a schedule of our areas and color fill legend, okay? So let's do this. So let's create first our schedule for the area. So from our last exercise, we created our area plan. So that's why we have your area plans, zoning. So for all the floor, so I already specified all the areas there so it's already created all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to create a schedule so to create a schedule let's go to the browser project browser and then look for the schedules right click that and then you can select here new schedule quantities so click that one and then from the new schedule you can search here you can type uh, area and then we will be using areas zoning okay so this is the one that we have created so let's use that one and then you can also specify here the name if you want you can change this so area schedule zoning and then schedule building components so i'll just select here okay all right so now for the parameters that we will be using there is name so I want this to be included to my schedule. So name, just double click that and then it will be placed here on our scheduled field. So name and then uh, level, let's double click. And then area, let's double click this. So again, if you want to have the exercise file that I'm using right now, you can check out the description of this video and then there is a link there wherein you can click and if you want to avail the exercise file you can get from that link all right so name level area so that will gonna be my uh, field and then I want to sort this one so if I'm going to select your okay so by default this is how it looks like right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this schedule i'm going to sort it so to do that from the project browser look for the schedule just expand that one and this is the schedule that we have created already okay so what i want to do is i want to go to the properties and then let's go to the sorting and grouping i'm going to select here edit just click that one and then it will open again the schedule properties dialog box so I'm here on the sorting and grouping. So a while ago, we are here on the fields, right? So sorting, grouping, I'll just click that one. And then I want that to be sort by name, okay? And after that, I also want that to be sort by level. So sort by name and then by level. So let's click level, all right? And then after that, I also want to include a header so let's click header and then footer okay and then title counts total okay so if you want to leave a blank line you can also check the blank line but I'm not gonna do that so I want to include the grand total so let's check that one so grand totals title count and totals ground total a grand total and then itemize every instance so I'm going to select again okay so that it will update our schedule so let's click that there you go so it's now updated so as you can see it's now sorted by name and then after that sorted by uh, level and then it shows you here the area so let's go back again to the sorting and grouping I'm going to select here edit so what I want to do is let's have a look what does it look like if we are going to select blank line here on our name? Blank line. So let's select here. Okay. There you go. So there is a blank line there. Blank line. So there is a blank line there. Right? So that is what will happen. Okay. So let's go there. And how about if I put a blank line on my level? So there is a blank line. Okay. So this is how it looks like. I don't like it. So let's go back to sorting and grouping and then uncheck blank line, right? Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to include here the unit. So like, for example, square feet, okay? 
And then I do not want to have a decimal places. So for you to be able to edit again your schedule, so this time we will be going to format. Okay? So let's go to formatting. So let's select your edit. And then I want to edit first my area. So I'm going to select the area. And then I want to include the calculation here. So I want to include the total. Okay? So calculate totals. Okay? So if I do that, again, if I'm going to select your OK, you will see my schedule here. It will update. So I select your OK. And then as you can see, there's now the total. Okay? So let's go back again to formatting. So this time, I will select the area. And then I'm going to field formatting, field format. I'm going to select this one. And then for me to be able to edit the settings here, I need to uncheck use project settings so uncheck that one and then for the unit you can change the unit so for me i'll just select square feet unit but i do not want to have a decimal place here so i'm gonna select zero decimal places and then for the unit symbol i click the drop down arrow i want sf for square feet okay and then i'll select your okay i select your okay and there you go you see, there is now the unit, and then there is no more uh, decimal places. Okay? So that's the grand total. So I have 69,550 square feet. Right. So that's for the creation of your schedule. Okay? So now the next thing that I'm going to show you is let's create a color scheme legend. Okay? So let's go first to our floor 4. Let's click that one and then let's create a color fill legend. So to do that, go to the annotate tab and then look for color fill. And then you see color fill legend. So click color fill legend and then just place first. I'll just place it here. All right. And then I already have a space type here, which is areas zoning, right? And I have a color scheme, schema one. So for the meantime, I'm going to select this one. And then it will give me this uh, schema one legend. So what I want to do is I'm going, I want to edit this one. So I want to customize it. So I want to have a color for each name of my area. Okay. So what, I'm, what I want to do is I'm going to select this. And then from the Modify Color Fill Legends, click Edit Scheme. All right. So for the category, make sure this is Areas Zoning. So I'm going to duplicate my current scheme, this one. And then we are going to change that. Okay. So for the name, I'm just going to call it Area Name. Okay. So Area Name. And then I'll select here, OK. And then after that, I change the color here. Oh, by the way, let's change here also the title. OK. So for the title, so let us just change that to, uh, let's say, just by name. By name. OK. And then for the color here, so I want that to be by name. OK. There you go. And then for the colors, not preserved, just select OK. And then you can now see here the default color for the names or the area names in our project. So we can change this color. So there's the preview color. So this is the color. And then you can also control here the visibility. Okay. So you can also specify here the fill pattern. If you do not want a solid color, so you can click the drop down and then you can select here the pattern okay but for me i'll just select solid color for all the areas name and then for the color let me change it so i'll change this one so let's say i'll select a uh, reddish okay then this one a uh, yellowish okay and say this one greenish and then this one blue wish there you go and then i'll just select here okay and that's it so it's now 
updated. So if I want this color fill legend to be applied on other floor, so what I can do is I go to, let's say, uh, level 3. Floor 3 area plans. So let's double click that. So I want also to place here my color fill legend. So from the annotate tab, so let's click that and then let's look for color fill legend. Let's click that one and then just place it here. Okay, that's it. So area zoning, uh, area name, that's fine. So just select here, okay, and that's it. Okay, so we have our area schedule here, which is uh, this one. And then we also have this color fill legend for our floor plan. Okay, for your exercise, so maybe you can also do it on floor 1 and floor 2. Alright, so that's it for this simple exercise. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.